Hey folks, hope you're having a good day. Today we're playing some Nebulous Fleet Command. Um, I'm going to show you uh, some edits that I did offline to the fleet that I was building in the last stream. And then we're going to try to jump into a match. Uh, if we can't get a match, then we'll probably play against the computer a little bit, just so I can show this off. So I actually have two fleets now for OSP. I've got the America Online fleet, which I made some changes to. I'll show that in a second. And then I've also got an Expanse-themed fleet, which I want to show off to you guys, because I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure which one we're going to use in this upcoming game here, but we'll see about that. Um, so I did a little testing against the AI. What I found was that the um, American line was having trouble managing the early warning radar system. What tended to happen, I would I would kind of park him somewhere where I thought that I could get a missile off, and then um, the enemy would be at a different angle than I expected them to come from. Uh, and I would try to point the early warning radar, and the ship would take forever and a day to roll over to point the early warning radar to that side, and then the orientation of the ship would get all messed up and it'd be very hard to deal with. Um, so what I ended up doing was um, I did a little kind of cost analysis and I figured out that the best way to run the radar systems was to actually have tugboats run each individual system uh, on its own. So I've got a tugboat here, um, the CompuServe, which has an early warning radar on the front, and that's its whole job. It just has an early warning radar and it runs it off of a boosted reactor. Um, and then I've got another tugboat here that uh, is called the Prodigy, and that has the Blood Bloodhound long range tracking radar, which gives a more precise fix and it works well in conjunction with the early warning radar because we can spot the enemy from a long distance and then we can lock them up from a distance of 14 kilometers so we can get a reasonably precise fix on where they're at uh, and this guy also has a track correlator so it makes the radar a little bit more precise still with a minus 20 percent position and velocity error um so this is this this two these two ships together only cost uh, a little bit shy of 400 points um, so that's pretty good um, and it's a lot easier to manage them this way than it is a little bit cheaper and a lot easier to manage them this way than it is to like try to put together one of the bigger ships to have extra power supplies and stuff like that so it can manage multiple of these systems because a boosted reactor is a very cheap way to get extra power um, so it goes jumps from 3650 to 5000 watts um, so having two ships with these things the the hull is only 75 points so 75 point ship with a, a 10 point reactor boost is a lot more efficient than having um having like a larger ship that has both so uh, and these guys are also very maneuverable so it's easy to point the radar in different directions and then um, I was also having trouble with the uh, spotlight. Um, the uh, lighthouse illuminator I found out has a very limited range. Um, so that kind of limits what we can do with it somewhat. Um, we see that the range of the illuminator is 10,000 meters, which isn't terrible, but it's, uh, it's not great. There was another radar system that I got rid, rid of, which I think which was like the pinpoint radar. Um, so um, I made some slight tweaks to this ship here. Uh, having made this change to our scouting setup, I actually freed up a couple points. So I was able to add a sun drive racing engine to the America Online um, and uh, made a couple other tuning things. So uh, just to optimize it a little, so I added this Lyrebird Jammer to protect against missiles since it has no real other missile protection. Um, and then in order to help with the Illuminator situation, I added another um, ship here, the GWS Dial-Up, uh, and that is a uh, cargo feeder, which is like the, the middle class. It's sort of like in between a destroyer and a cruiser, I would say, um, in terms of its size. Um, but it's sort of, it's very thick armor for its size is the nice thing about it. So it's 175 points as a 40 centimeter armor thickness compared to the Sicello. This is almost 600 points and it has a 30 centimeter armor and the tugboat, you know, has no armor basically. And so does the shuttle has no armor. Um, and this actually, the cargo feeder actually has more armor than the bulk freighter, even though it's a less expensive, smaller ship. Um, so this is going to be kind of like our brawler. Um, and the, uh, dial up is armed with um chaff and flares and repasts and so forth and it's got these two one-shot rocket launchers that i could launch each launch 30 rockets at the enemy um, and these things i found are quite effective you know if you get relatively close with them you can do a ton of damage quickly um 
It has also got a keel-mounted plasma cannon, which is meant to strip off the enemy's armor and plating um, to make uh, other weapons do more damage. So this is a really good kind of one-shot, you know, run in the face of the enemy fleet. You know, when they get too close to the American line, this thing can kind of run in their face, uh, does a lot of damage, um, and it also has an eliminator on it so it can provide guidance for the semi-active radar homing missiles on the American line. So I found that this ship was pretty effective in the when I tested it out against the AI, so hopefully it works against even players too. We'll see about that. Um, it also has a strobe correlator, which helps it um, figure out where jamming ships are so that the uh, America Online can fire its uh, jamming seeker missiles, its uh, anti-radar homing. Um, so that's that. And then I want to make a small missile change here from my testing earlier. I think I want them to actually have a little bit more range on the missiles here. So this is... I maxed out the speed here for a little less than 8,000 meters. I think I actually want the range to be up to around like 10,000 meters. And we can do that with only a slight tweak here, I think. Yeah, so this is... We're giving up like 1 or 2 meters per second for an extra 2,000 meters of range. I think that's a pretty good trade. Uh, we might even... Which one is the semi-active radar? It doesn't really need to have more than 10,000 meter range, I think. Um, but you've got mail. This actually has a 12,000 meter range, so that's okay. We could actually increase that one as well, I think. Let's go for 14,000 meters. Yes, because this this one we want to be able to fire when we're a little bit further away, because it doesn't require um, our ship to be in range to guide it. Um, and now we've got the what I've called the romantic movies now on VHS, which is the um, um, anti uh, anti radiation missiles. So we've got that. Um, so that's our fleet setup. And then let me show you guys the other fleet that I built off stream because I'm pretty excited about it. And this is an expanse themed uh, OSP fleet. It's all belter ships. Uh, so. I started out with a GWS Tynan. This is um, Kleiss Ashford, Ashford's ship that he uses to hunt down uh, the Free Navy guys. Um, and there's different, there's like several different variations of it throughout the course of the series. This is sort of like a combination of two different variations based on the actual hard points that the ship has and stuff like that. So um, this is a this is actually a tugboat. It's a small ship, um, so it's not super armored or or, or tough because um, it is like a little scrappy belter ship um, but it's got the c30 rapid fire uh cannon on the front with 100 millimeter rounds um it's got uh two torpedo launchers um with a mix of the uh, standard maces and a couple of more expensive missiles the cutlasses which are um sort of slow moving heavy damage torpedoes um and the cartana which is like a more a cheaper version of the same thing um so this guy can do a lot of damage in close range uh, and then he's got two pdcs here um the John Batista. Now these guys, oh, we also have the Razorback, of course. The Razorback is our racing shuttle. Um, it's not armed. Um, we do. I did give it chaff and flares, uh, and then we have a jammer and a pinpoint radar system. Um, so this is going to be our scout, and it's super, super quick. Uh, we've got a, a Sun Drive Racing Pro engine, and we've also got the reinforced thruster nozzles, so this thing can really move. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and it also has like a minus 40% total reduced flank damage, which is good because it doesn't have any damage control. Um, and there's no room for it here in the compartments that it has. So that's going to be our um, super speedy scout and probably early capping ship. Um, and then we've got the John Batista. This, so we've got two uh, line ships, basically, that both have uh, batteries of guns. Um, so each one, they're pretty much identical, the John Batista and the Jammy Rakshasa. They each, and these are both names of ships from the Expanse, by the way. Um, they both they each have three of the C-65 cannons, which is like a dual 400 millimeter cannon. And then they each have one of the uh, C-81 plasma cannons, which again is for stripping armor. Um, and then we've got a smattering of PDs, PDCs spread out across the strip ship here. We've got these T20 cannons, which are 100 millimeter guns that can um, that can use uh, grape shot to shoot down. It's actually called grape shot. Uh, there's 100 millimeter grape rounds that can be used to shoot down um, incoming missiles. And then um, we've also got the Pavis uh, PDTs. And we've got the VLS-46 with chaff flares and so on. Um, 
And then this thing, I think, is going to have pretty good damage control. There's got it's got two CICs. There's two large DC lockers, and there's also a large DC storage, which is a new thing that basically just gives you. It doesn't um, doesn't provide any repair teams, but it provides four additional restores. Um, so that's pretty awesome because uh, you can you get the four stores out of one slot, and it's actually cheaper, I think, than a DC locker. So. Um, as long as you have other active DC lockers on the ship, you can get a lot of mileage out of this. And, uh, well, I guess it's the same as a large DC locker, but it's providing twice as many restores instead of extra repair teams. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. And then we've got two reinforced magazines for the sake of redundancy, um, some power management, and then we've got um, mount gyros, ammunition elevators, reinforced thruster noddle, nozzles to make the ship a little quicker um, when it flanks, and then there's a track correlator and a rapid cycle cradle, which is a new thing that uh, reduces the uh, recycle time for rounds in the chamber. Um, so I guess there's two stats for like the gun's firing speed. So this is like the firing speed of the gun, um, I believe. And then there's the reloading speed, which is what the ammunition elevators help with. Um, so we have both of those things on here. I'm not sure if that's the optimal arrangement. We might have to do some math and experiment on that, but this is what we have for now. And then, so this is the Gian Bautista and this is the Jemmy Rekshasa, which has essentially the same setup, but because they're line ships, it looks a little different. It's a little bit more spread out. Um, so. That's gonna. That's our expanse fleet. So we're gonna try to use one of these two fleets in multiplayer. We'll see if we can get a match here. A lot of games in progress. Uh, here's one. Hopefully you can get an OSP game. Um. Here we go. Kind of want to try the America Online first. I was watching um, another YouTuber who um, does a couple Nebulous videos. Um, he did a video called Minesweeping where he just showed uh, his light cruisers. It was like a whole battle report, basically, the whole playthrough of his light cruisers doing a battle. Um, and he spent all this time just like um, going across the board, shooting decoys and stuff like that. And eventually he came on this container ship and blew it up with torpedoes. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen to us uh, since we're playing a container ship. We'll have to try to be cognizant of that. We don't have any mines, uh, so that's going to make it a little bit harder to tell when there's light cruisers closing on us. So that's something we might want to think about for a future build. We almost got a match together. That's pretty good. Uh, multiplayer lobby is very active right now, which I'm happy about. Because it sometimes takes a long time to get a game together for this game. Oh, I just realized it's almost one o'clock already. So I have to probably just gonna have time for the win game today. Uh, in other news, we have uh, so I got better from COVID, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I think I mentioned that in the previous team. I don't remember. Um, but uh, and then we we adapted a new black cat uh, void. So I'm going to post a picture of the void beast on uh, my stream Discord. So if you're interested, check that out. He is very cute. His name is Rigsby. I think we might end up giving him a different name. We haven't really made a decision about that yet. Um, but he, he is Rigsby when we adapted him. Okay, we got a eighth person. Nice. Yeah, mm. I posted a picture of Rigsby in the Discord general chat, and I'm happy we got a game so quickly because we can jump right in and get started.
I'm really nervous about this game. <laughs> this will be my first time playing against human opponents in a long time. Uh, and also my first time with the OSP ships. So I think that's gonna... I want my America Online to be somewhere out of sight, I think. I think I want to hang either near D or underneath A. These guys are over here. I want to be near other ships of my faction, so I think we're going to put them over here. And then I'm going to put these two guys at D and have them do the early warning radar from there, because D has a pretty good visibility to everywhere. Um, and then I'll be close to the rest of the... Oops. I mean to click on that. Whoops. D has a pretty good visibility to everything else. Uh, let's see what we can get on the Nebulous Discord. Let's see, we've got Loafer, Foxhound, and Bot. Checking Discord channels to see if any of them are already on there. I don't see them. Actually, let's go for Team Donuts. Here we go. You say thinking B, C, or C? Um, well, they, could, they, they moved their, their ships away, so my container ship was left alone at the last possible second. That's a pain in the butt. So I have to circle back around to the middle. I, don't, I really don't want to be by myself with the ship if I can help it. I don't see any dry plumes coming in from the other side here. Okay, I think we're in a good spot, though. We're not immediately... Send traffic. Um, formation Wait, true. Oh, I forgot to change the hotkeys. Darn it. Send traffic. Okay, Wait. so we're gonna... Aye, aye. Proceeding. Understood. Waiting orders. Uh -huh. What are our oh my god, I'm already spotted. On the way, Commander. Moving out. Reporting. Okay, maybe you wanna... Waiting your orders, Commander. How can we help today, Commander? On the way, Commander. Uh, let's send one of our decoys. Like move like an actual ship, like it's moving through cover. Firing a missile. There we go. Uh, let's try to get this guy turned around if we could. Aye, aye, commander. Okay, here comes our decoy. I think it's not going to last very long. Are we capping the point? Yeah, we are. We're ready whenever you are. Send traffic. Aye, aye. Move the early warning radar around a little bit. Make sure we're covering as large an area as possible. Understood. We have secured some dagger. Aye, aye. The enemy secured some box. Okay, so we need to get these guys out of here now. Course laid in. Uh, decoy already got destroyed, it looks like. I unfortunately wasn't watching to see what it got destroyed by. I was trying to do too many things at once. We have secured zone combat. Oh, wait, here it is. I take it back. 
Receive it. Okay, we got contacts. Acknowledged. We're ready whenever you are. Aye, aye. I think that's his radar, yeah, I don't think I can actually see that guy. Waiting order. Go ahead, command. Okay, here comes the clipper. Send traffic. Looks like there's a Corvette swarm on the other side. What did I see down there just now? Go ahead, command. You want to go up this way, maybe? Away, Commander. Not entirely sure. I'm like really out of position, I feel like. I can't believe those guys just moved all their ships at the last possible second. That pisses me off. <laughs> Nothing on this clipper yet. Or oh, somebody shouted it, I thought. Hmm. Go ahead, command. Just having to get a little more noise on that clipper. Looks like they're all over on the other side of the board. There's a lot of missiles coming across here. Um, this is out of range. Good enough. All right. Really don't want to round this corner. Uh, um. Moving out. I don't know where the enemy is, and I need to know. Uh, I mean, that's what these guys are for. So let's get them moving. Yeah, we can. I get the early warning radar to swing over this way for a minute. Reporting. Yes, Commander. This guy have again, he's just got the Illuminator. Go ahead, Command. We're ready whenever you are. Send traffic. Aye, aye. Full burn. Well, they don't have too many pinards. So I'll spot my early warning radar, which Receiving. I guess might not be the worst thing. I don't know. Um... Aye, aye. Spectator disconnected. Okay. Thought that was one of our guys for a second. Okay, we got lots of friends down at A. They're not shooting at my clipper. Reporting. Aye, aye. Ready you are. I'm gonna start getting this oriented even though we don't have a target to point it to yet. There we go, okay. Uh, let's get these a little more up so we can aye, aye. see. Send your traffic. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a move across the gap here. Copy that. Whatever, this guy was flanking the entire time. I think he's alright. So let's give our guys a minute to repair and then we'll flank again as once we get to the into the open. Aye aye. Send traffic. My team is not really communicating at all. This usually doesn't bode well. 
This guy's all by his lonesome. Hope he knows what he's doing. Unfortunate that we lost track on those guys in the middle. Got it. Let's swing the radar around a little bit and see if we can spot anything else while we're out here. Waiting more. Uh. Okay, they must be coming over the right side. Force laid in. Standing by. At the ready, Commander. Can't believe they're not firing at the decoys at all. Like, if you saw a lone scout out there just like chilling, hiding among the rocks, wouldn't you want to shoot it down? No, no. Your orders, Commander. Keep in mind that these guys don't have any uh, repair facilities. Why can I see this guy but not the other guy? I think I need to get the radar pointed back this way. Affirmative. Roger that. There he is. Okay. We're ready whenever you are. On it. So I know about where he's at. I wonder if I could hit him blind with missiles from here. Um, Go ahead, command. Aye, aye. Full power. AMMs. I don't want to be shooting AMMs right now. There's nothing useful I could do with AMMs. How do I turn that off? Point. There we go. Reporting. Enemy has us locked up. Roger that. See. Okay, so we're gonna try to hook these around. The enemy has the enemy has oh, we don't have cruise missiles, so we actually have to wait till they get in line of sight. Yeah. Looks like we're we'll being Proceeding. Enemy electronic countermeasures. Concerns. Okay, let's get the sky oriented around because he's gonna have to fight. You heard the orders. Let's go. <laughs> Send traffic. The enemy is jamming us. We hear you, Command. I think if I get this guy right up in their face, they're going to be very surprised and not pleased. At the ready, Commander. We are out of... No, we're not. Standing by. At the ready, Commander. Enemy electronic countermeasures detected. Copy that. It's moving. Clips. At the ready, Commander. <laughs> Awaiting your orders, Commander. That's actually... I think this is close enough. This guy actually has pretty long range for a destroyer-like thing. So let's, uh, let's actually hold him up against this rock here. Let's go. Standing by. Send traffic. Um, these guys are not locked up anymore, so we're gonna turn off the flank, save the engines while we can. And we're not pointed at this anymore. Understood. Got you five by five. We'll get down here. Uh, let's fire some missiles at that and see what happens. Uh, direct radar. Sending it. Oh, it's such a bad position. Five. It's terrible. Waiting orders. Send your traffic. Send traffic. We'll be there before you go. Incoming. I think they're gonna shoot down everything. Yeah, this is like a gun fleet. Uh, let's try to get our eliminators on. Missile out. Uh, let's clear our. Um. 
Missile away. This thing is gonna be wrecked in a very short amount of time here. Standing by. On the move. Our drive's been disabled. Oh, I don't wanna hear that. I gotta get the reactor next. We're losing components. Reporting. We're losing yes, components. We are on route, Commander. Launch the missile. Because we haven't lost the drive yet. Okay, we need the lighthouse. Uh, I think we need the DC locker more, though, maybe. Not entirely sure. But it just fire all of our missiles, because this is going to be our only chance to do it. Damn it. All hands, abandon ship. Uh, that's so frustrating. I'm just surrounded. I can't do anything about it. Oh, God, that kills me. At least we're going to do some damage with this guy, probably. Firing missiles. We're being targeted. Let's see him try to get away from these. Incoming enemy fire. Missiles away. This should get at least a couple hits here. Okay, we got a couple hits. Right away. Uh, we didn't get many though. Missiles I gotta clear this guy's heading so that he can actually shoot at the enemy. Reporting. We lost a component. That's just beyond frustrating. Command. The team abandoned me and screwed me. Fire on the The enemy secured zone. Need this reactor, please. Okay, we're getting some hits there. That's a negative command. Send traffic. What is it, command? I don't know if I can actually fire. What do you mean we're out of missiles? Negative. I did not have him on evade. Need to Probably would have helped me out a little bit. Not too much though. Negative. You mean negative? Are oh, the plasma cannons out? We're losing modules. Um, this still has 11 rockets, so if we can get that fixed, we might be able to get some more damage out. We're but we're pretty much dead. We're losing modules. We're losing components! Drives are out! We're stuck! The power's out! Those bastards got us! Guess we'll help the company, this guy, try to help him out. But there's not really much we can do. Aye, aye. Proceeding. Standing by. I mean, I guess it was kind of a mistake to push on those cruisers when I knew that other guy was coming after me, but I kind of felt like I didn't know what was over there. It was just a scout. I think it was just a scout because I would have... He didn't actually do anything to me. But I was so scared of what was coming around the corner there because I figured it was probably another light cruiser fleet like this one. That it didn't really... 
Aye, aye. Standing by. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Aye, aye. Acknowledged. I didn't mean to set it quite that high up. But uh, that's okay, I guess. This guy looks like he might be doing okay. I like, put a whole bunch of mines out there. Uh, I think he's getting hosed. Doesn't look like he's returning fire at all. He's getting shot from multiple angles. Standing by. Send traffic. Help, take us in. Send traffic. Send traffic. There's none over here. Is this a Corvette swarm? No, that's guns. It's probably more cruisers. That guy's got a pinner track. I could try to point my early warning radar at that. Get a fix. Oh, I think he's tracking something in the middle here. It's probably out of my park. Aye, aye. Full burn. Understood. Way these guys are going. Looks like they're busy fighting the guys over there. I was thinking they might be going around. Aye, aye. We'll get it done. You can actually see those guys from here. This is not a bad position. Standing by. Oh, I just got spotted. Standing by. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Copy that. He's actually shooting at these guys, so it doesn't really matter if I track them. I think. Horse laid in. I'm gonna flank one last time and try to get around to where these guys are to help out my buddy here. This guy's got some lots of missiles going on here. I guess those are AMMs. Or is he attacking? Oh, those are hurricanes. Okay. Receive. We'll get it done. Okay, we should be on them in a second. Here we go. Standing by. Receiving. On it. I'm gonna bluff like I'm trying to get in torpedo range or something. Actually, he's invisible, so he probably will call my bluff. Um. Receive. Understood. Looks like the ship is dying. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. It's like taking a lot of hits, but uh, this it is like a cruiser. Send traffic. We're ready whenever you are. Standing by. 
Looks like the uh, cruiser guy is actually re like light cruiser guy is actually retreating. Waiting orders. Uh, this really winning radar in this position is not doing as much good. Acknowledged. Send traffic. Force laid in. Those light cruisers are actually faster than my tugboats. I think they are. Force laid in. Is this, oh, it's an explosion. Affirmative. Nobody are coming from that way, so we're gonna turn the radar around. Whatever you are. Send traffic. You going the opposite way. <sighs> Course laid in. I'm gonna go help somebody who's actually getting something done. Printer. Send traffic. Acknowledged. Actually winning on caps. Help, take us Currently, up. anyway. Might be salvageable. And these two guys can, of course, cap. I think that sprinters can outrun our guys here, probably. Send traffic. Yeah. Oh, take us in. I think the cruiser is going to be right on the other side of these rocks. Understood. Aye, aye. Copy that. Understood. Send traffic. Force laid in. Not sure we want to be here because I got nobody to actually shoot at the enemy. Proceeding. We're ready whenever you are. Roger that. Lock on warning. Aye aye. They're locking your orders. Standing yeah. on, locking on. Yeah, we're gonna wanna go. Aye, aye, full burn. The enemy is securing zone common. Receiving. We're taking fire. Standing lock on, warning. Understood. Set traffic. Destroyed. Waiting orders. We're on the way, Commander. Component We're waiting orders. Aye, aye. Proceed. The drive has been destroyed. Combined with the early warning radar dying. Signing off. Moving. Moving. We're on the way, Commander. Copy that. Under fire right now, so I can turn off the flanking. That looks like I gotta hit a little bit. Enemy has us locked on the way. Oh, they are locking me. Okay. Copy that. We've lost a controller. The radar down, radar still up. That's all that matters.
Again, it is. Already lost a couple thrusters. Oh, what can you do, right? We're on the way, Commander. We'll get it done. Waiting orders. I have a feeling we're not getting away from this thing fast enough. Aye, aye. We're on the way. Okay, I think we might be out of range. We will be by the time it goes off anyway. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Aye, aye. We're on the way, Commander. Copy that. Get one in the middle of the formation because I think we can cover multiple guys with the beam. There we go. I think we made it out okay. I could try to make a rush for A, but I, I mean, there's so many enemy ships around, it's not going to happen. Any friendlies left? It's just this one guy, basically. So I might as well try to cap A. Oops. The enemy is securing zone eclipse. Wait. Control is I accidentally locked it had a I might have like locked it at this current elevation or something. It won't let me go higher than this point. I don't understand what's happening. Underway. Alright, well, whatever, we're going that way. Oh, 
I'm just being a knucklehead. Okay. Electronic countermeasures detected. Alright, let's see how much damage we did. We did a little bit with the rockets mainly. Okay. This guy that we were supporting did less than a thousand damage. Or less than two thousand damage, sorry. The American line did nothing. <laughs> My one cargo tender did four thousand. That's not terrible, I guess. It's, I mean, it's pretty bad, but 13% missile warfare, 30% sensor. Yeah, we didn't do all this much. The Prodigy did sort of okay on sensor warfare. CompuServe did well on sensor warfare. Chunky of Pamela did 5,000 damage with this guy Loafer. This one guy that was all the way on the other side of the board did somehow did 40,000 damage and then ended up dying. That's a shame. If he had been, like, together with the rest of the team, he could have done a lot more. He's playing line ships. I don't know what kind of weapons he was running. I guess it was like a rush build, maybe with plasma rockets or something. Um... I think this is the guy that killed me here, the Liar Vis. Didn't actually take a lot of damage to kill this giant carrier thing. Oh, there's a, uh, this guy also had a light cruiser. This might have been the guy that was over at D. I don't know who was over at D actually, I can't really tell. Um, and then this guy was the guy in the middle with the beam DDs. Alright, um... So unfortunately, uh, I would have. Oh, hey, sorry guys, I didn't see the chat here. Um, I, I, I mean, this is my first ever game in the new update. It was frustrating because my teammates did knuckleheaded things and we died. Um, but um, I like the new ships and stuff like that. Um, I like the fact that we have two different factions now. Um, so um, yeah, um, I, I think it's going to be pretty neat. I'm excited to get better at it and get more practice. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's stream. I want to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow if you're watching on Twitch or subscribe. It's free if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, Zinlu and Cy Ravensong, um, thanks both of you for hanging out. And sorry I didn't see the chat earlier. And have a good afternoon.